Hello, sleeping angel. Come here. You are coming in too. <laughs> look at him. I need to get ready right now and make myself look a bit more like I didn't just wake up. Today's gonna be so exciting because my mum and I are spending the day together and we are going to Bista Village, which is a designer outlet. So we're going basically designer outlet shopping. I feel like I should have said that with like way more enthusiasm. I was also looking for a hair tie at the same time that I was saying that. So if I wasn't looking for a hair tie, I would have been like, we're going to designer outlet shopping. Yeah, we're going to Bista Village, which I haven't been to in years. It's honestly one of the best places. It's like an hour-ish outside of central London and I still have the tag on my jumper. I was like, what is that itching me? I never take my tags off until they itch me, basically. Till the absolute last minute. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to Vista Village. They've recently, like, redone Vista Village, and it's looking amazing. I've seen some pictures online, and apparently there are so many new stores, including acne so my mum and i have been saying for ages that we want to go i can't remember the last time we went it must have been like two or three years ago anyway now that it's relaunched we are going we didn't really think about this when we blocked out this day because it's actually half term <laughs> so it's not a very good time to go because i'm sure it will be quite busy but anyway i'm starting off my day with the elemis Hydra Boost Sensitive Day Cream. I've ran out of so many creams recently, so I'm trying out this one now, which I really like. It sinks in in seconds, and it's really light, and I do have quite sensitive skin. And even actually, you know what? Sometimes when I rub my face cream in, my skin goes bright red. You guys always see that. That one doesn't. My skin doesn't go red when I rub my, that face cream in. So yeah, I'm going to get ready, pick an outfit. When I'm picking an outfit, when I know I'm like going to be changing in and out of clothes, like trying stuff on, it's a jumper dress kind of day like slip on slip off this isn't like a different layers kind of day oh by the way i'm using the new clinique even better glow which is gorgeous it's such a beautiful foundation it's not really the one if you want a full coverage but if you want something light and just really beautiful and easy this is amazing i actually have no idea what the time is i need to go and look at my phone because my mum was like i'll see you at nine and i was like yeah yeah like nine ish she was like no nine <laughs> i was like oh okay i'm a nine ish kind of person so i need to make sure i am not late for her but she's actually coming to pick me up on the way yay how good is that foundation i am really liking it at the moment i'm using this new i haven't used this before by terry dual expert compact powder and i'm not actually sure how you're supposed to use them i haven't actually looked it up <laughs> so i'm just winging it actually this is a really nice bronzer color that looks good enough to me warm up my face guys i'm so sorry about this lighting there's literally no sun it looks like nighttime, doesn't it that is when it's like officially winter and the clocks haven't even gone forward yet. I was thinking today actually maybe I'll do an Instagram live in the car with my mum. So if you're not following me on Instagram. Oh and I also have really good giveaway this week. I was so happy with how many of you were happy with the Givenchy bag giveaway from last week. If you still want to enter, you have about 24 hours before we pick a winner. Every week in my vlogs now, I'm going to do, maybe I'll actually buy something today for next week's giveaway. If I see something that I think you guys will like. Let's do some eyeshadow. <music> dress jumper no oh maybe this no oh my gosh i love a skirt but no <laughs> too summery okay now we're going into summer clothes hmm maybe this again outfit of the day feet Duke. feet do you mean i mean like featuring <laughs> and also feet <laughs> oh hey angel hi he thinks he's coming shopping too clearly <laughs> Him. Anyway, I'm wearing my over-the-knee boots. Let me take off my coat and then I will show you. I literally can't take off this coat. It's never coming off. It's just not gonna happen. I love it too much. Okay, let me take this off and show you. Yeah, so I have my over-the-knee boots, which I love because they have a really thick heel so they actually are so comfortable to walk around in i know that i'll be like on my feet for at least like three or four hours today walking around bista village so that's totally fine with me because these are really comfy so underneath this is my dress i bought this kind of recently so if i can find a link to it i'll link it down below as well as everything else i'm showing you and these are actually new pieces for me these are so beautiful they're these little coin necklaces and i love the gold chain which you can actually buy separately as well because it has these 
little kind of studs, I guess, on it. I'm not really sure what you would call those. I'm really loving my autumnal burgundy Timex watch as well. And then I have the same Max Mara coat. You've seen me wear this a thousand times and I love it so much. And then I have this vintage Chanel bag. Fragrance of the day. Oh, I almost knocked everything over. Tom Ford Cafe, stay, Cafe Rose. Seriously, one of my all time favorites. Oh, it smells so good. It's like so sophisticated and yummy. Good morning. I haven't done my lip liner today. This is my lipstick of the day. It is Giorgio Armani. Sorry, you can't even see me. Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro. It's like one of my all time favorite colors. Mm. And the applicator is so good. Oh, we're going over a bump. Hold on. Mm, I love that. Now it's like actually morning. You can see the foundation so much better. It's so good. Anyway, hi Em. Hey Goji. Are what you all excited? I? I know. I was reading there's an acne now. That's so cool. Which is really cool. I purposefully dressed in a, an outfit that I can slip in and out of really quickly yeah. <laughs> if I'm in the changing room I'm Good wearing like a dress. I, I, know. I thought about same. that. Did you? I did the same. <laughs> yeah. I put on an easy shirt to it, take You know sometimes when you go to stores and then you're like in like three different layers and you need to like redo your jeans or whatever and then if you're wearing like annoying shoes that have like buckles on them and you need to do up the buckles yeah. on the shoes. No. Yeah. But that's I actually find the, the worst things are trainers because by the time you undo the laces. Yeah, you like then you, off, yeah. Then I'm wearing like slip on boots because yeah. I can just like whoosh, like pull them on. What are you wearing? I'm yeah, actually yeah. wearing um, Are you actually wearing slip trainers? Oh, oh, yeah, slip I'm wearing slip ons. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, slip -on so trainers, easy. So yeah, I'm excited. questions that we didn't get to answer in the Instagram live so I said is that a towel on the back? Oh, no, that's, that's a scarf. scarf. I thought that was like a towel for you to sleep on or something. And yeah so I said if you had any other questions then we will answer them on the vlog. So can it turn in? Wait. What is our favourite perfume and lunch spot in London? My favourite perfume is Marc Jacobs Rain. It came out when I was like 15, so like um, 10 years ago. I so that absolutely came out. I love it. It's, so it's good. fresh and it's not too flowery. It's yeah. very easy and yeah. it just feels like like you've just come out of the shower. It's just fabulous. And favourite lunch spot. I think mine is actually, I have a new one. It's Fisher. Fisher's on Marlebone High Street. Oh, I yeah. really like the salads they do there. They're like proper big, like yeah. American style salads, not like yeah. English salads where they give you like a few leaves, you know? They do a really good yeah. chopped chicken salad. Yes, that's the one I had the other yeah. night. Where else do you love? I like two places. There's a new one that's like the sister to Casa Cruz. Isabel's? And it's called Isabel's. Yeah. Can I tell you one thing about Isabel's? In the menu, they have stars and it says like gluten free, sugar free, dairy free. There's like a code on all their food, which is amazing. I wish all restaurants had that. It makes you feel like so secure when you're eating. You know what you're eating, basically. So yeah, Isabel's. If you had to pick one drugstore makeup product, which would it be? I know your answer. Okay, I'll test you which one. I think you'd pick the lipstick. It's Actually, no, 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 no. You'd pick the mascara because you exactly. can pick a different lipstick, but you can't pick the mascara. Exactly. Change my mind. Exactly. She uses the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous, yeah. right? And she also uses the L'Oreal Paris lip gloss, but I feel like you'd switch to like another lip gloss and still use that That's mascara. Right. If I had to pick only one item from the drugstore, I'd probably pick the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. My mom and I are talking about how obsessed we are with Tony Robbins and how I posted on my Instagram stories the other day saying like you guys should listen to this episode of his podcast where he talks about masculine and feminine energy and my mum was saying that she listened to it and we both cried when we were listening to this episode because this couple was saying like how they lost a million dollars and how they were like their relationship dynamic like changed and she he had cancer or he something had cancer and then oh he had God. like an accident as well yeah a, a, a car accident. and Tony was like 
like that's the easiest losing a million dollars is like just the beginning it's like the easiest challenge for you yeah. and it was like so emotional and like oh we were just saying I think just one of the things that I really took away from that which I absolutely adore him for yeah. is that he says that you've got to have faith in the future and your decisions should not be based on fear because if your decisions are based on fear for the future you will never be moving forward yeah that's true wow I feel like all my decisions are based on fear. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one thing to kind of train yourself and say, yeah. you know what, I've got my I've got confidence in the future and um, I've got faith and that's the best way to move forward. Yeah. Wow. Preach it. We have just arrived, got out the car at Vista Village. Everything is looking super new isn't it it's like super you know new what? and fresh this is the most incredible i know they've done a huge I mean, revamp this is really something else this is the village we're walking around in right now and your high march in there as you can see and a whole day my mom's already planning her next trip anyway we're going to prada now oh there's chloe over there prada my mom is already on it with the Prada ski jackets, which we love. We have one similar to this one, and I've literally worn it to death. I stole it from her. <laughs> what do we think? Look in the mirror. You're too close to me. Yeah, I like that color a lot, actually. That olive green with the white hood is so cute. What do you think? I love this. I really like that a lot. It's just something with a novel though. It's, it's one. one of the newer colors. Yeah. Shall I try it on as well? Yeah. I love it on you. I so pretty. Like a size. I'm not sure, but if you wanted to fit me and you. Yeah. My mom totally abandoned me in the queue. She was like, okay, you stay and pay for it and I'm gonna go shopping. I was like, okay, someone is feeling the excitement majorly. Ooh, oh my God, YSL. I know YSL is now called Saint Laurent, but to me, it'll always be YSL. You know, that meme that's like, ain't no Saint Laurent without Eve, that's me. Oh my gosh, guys, how cute are these shoes? I am now in Max Mara looking at coats because the coat I'm wearing today is also Max Mara. This is kind of like my one. Max Mara officially do the best coats ever. Look at this one. It's like a warm gray, snuggly. Oh, it's so nice and it's so gorgeous. If you can see, the light is kind of weird. I'm also gonna try on this blue one, but I don't know if I'm a blue coat kind of girl and if I'd actually wear a blue coat, like I'd wear this. This is similar to the one I have now, but without the trim on the hood. And I don't know, I don't think I'm a blue coat kind of girl because this is kind of like a winter coat. I wouldn't really wear this so much, I guess, in summer. And I feel like blue coats is just, it's a trend piece, so I don't wanna, I'd prefer to like buy a Topshop coat than a Max Mara like trend piece, whereas like, I know I'll wear that one like forever basically, <laughs> like give it to my children's children. And same for something like grey that's just, you can wear no matter the season and the trend and everything, whereas like this one I feel like is just quite trendy, even though it's like I got a classic style. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. We are two coats down and my mum is getting something from Toomey at the moment and then I think I'm going to meet her, as she said, either in Dior or Dolce. I want to see the Dolce dresses, what season they have and it's starting to get a bit busy already. Look how busy it is right now and it's about 12 o'clock. Oh, there's even a little Lola's cupcake stand. That's so cute. Wow, look at this Gucci. It's freaking huge. It's like a house. Let's see what Gucci has to offer. Oh my gosh, they have an amazing selection of shoes. I love these so much, but Valentino have something similar this season with a closed toe that I kind of prefer, but they're amazing. And the discount, they've gone from 745 to 375. That's so good. And they also have these like super cute bloom collection flats, which I love. I have the like green bag. I wouldn't actually wear these. I don't like toe cleavage on um, flat shoes. Oh my gosh, I love this belt. It has like little pearls on it and then it has a bow at the top, which is so sweet. 
Ooh, I never really wear belts though. Like I own quite a few and I literally never wear them. I always think I should wear more belts and then I'm putting my outfits together and I never ever wear belts. Not even with jeans or to tuck in dresses or anything. I don't know why, belts just kind of get in my way and bug me. <laughs> Oh my gosh guys, this is my coat I wore and bought earlier this year, or like last season. So if anyone wants it, it's in Maj now. These were some of my favorite Jimmy Choo's last season and I never bought them. And now they're like re-haunting me because they're back here. I love them. Where are you? Oh, Gucci. Okay, I'm, I'm coming in. I'm coming in now. Did you find anything good? We are now going into Fendi. Guys, I found something similar but with a closed toe and patent and flowers. This is what I was looking at. This has been in my basket on Nette Porte for like a month now, these shoes. And they're from Valentino and they're really cute but these are super, super similar except they're patent and with a point. And obviously the flowers down the side. To anyone that thinks my mum is like the style icon, what are these? I'm walking what are today. They? I'm walking. They're literally... Horrendous. Honestly, they are the most comfortable thing. Really? They are, I promise you. They look like they should be married to the croc. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the croc's husband. <laughs> so that was a bit of a fail in Fendi because they had a display 37 which fit me perfectly and they couldn't find the matching one. I think everything is like a sign. I'm like, it was a sign that I shouldn't get there. It wasn't meant to be. It was not meant to be. Shopping, shopping, shopping. That is cute. It's not very you with the pink. No. You're not a very pink kind of girl. It is cute though. Yeah. These are like very easy skirts to wear. I just can't even think about the skirt when you're wearing those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for two hours now already. That I went so quick. Should fun. we get some snacks or something? Yeah, I actually really Should we go into Pret? Yes. Oh my gosh, look at the queue outside Pandora. Look. Wow. I still wear my Pandora rings every day. You know day. the store oh. here makes yeah. the most money of all the stores? Really? Yeah. And oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys. There was someone next to me in Prada and they bought 14 items. 14! Oh my gosh. Lipstick touch up. This was the lipstick we were talking about. I can't remember if it was in the vlog or in the live. This is my mum's fave, the L'Oreal Paris Cream. What number is this? In 104. We're in acne now and just look at the leather jacket selection. I'm so happy this to now have acne. I mean, that is the most gorgeous color. This is like the same color as an All Saints one I have and I love. It's gorgeous. Look at all these blush tones. Even in winter, I still gravitate towards blush tones. Oh my gosh, look at that coat. Whoa. We're going to another new Vista Village store, which is Zadig. Zadig always have really gorgeous, like detailed cashmere jumpers, which is why I really love them. Guys, and then Valentino, and they have the Valentino sandals, 200 pounds off, so 600 to 400 pounds. Woo! That was so good. We just left. We have our shopping in the boot. I got my coat. Mommy got her coat. We basically ended up buying two coats and a suitcase as well. And I'm really happy with my coat. I feel like that's a good like lifetime staple coat. It's and yours really is nice gonna one. be I yours like is gonna be on. so nice. Yeah. And I will be stealing it from you. Not so soon. <laughs> she literally hasn't seen her other one in like what two years. I'm hiding this I'm one. Literally, yeah. I'm hiding it somewhere. She does this. If we're not shopping together, she will hide her stuff. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, when did you get that? <laughs> well, that was a great shopping day. Thanks, Queen. Thank you. Bye. What are we gonna do it again? I don't know. When there's new new <laughs> spring stock, we'll do it seasonally. Hello, Mister. What are you doing? What are you staring at me for? He thinks I'm gonna feed him because I just gave him a treat, and now he's like following me around like anymore. Um, anyway, I went to Mister Village, came back. I'm gonna show you my coat on properly. Ooh properly now um but i'm actually gonna eat some something basically i had my friend over for dinner last night and i made some food and i have leftovers 
which are like the perfect lunch. I bought some snacks with me to Bista Village, but I didn't have like lunch lunch. So yeah, I have some leftovers, you know, the usual rice. <laughs> uh, I have some chicken, some parsnips, carrots. What else shall I make? Anything? No, I don't think so. So this is my purchase of the day. My Max Mara coat, which is the most snug gray and I have a light gray coat which I wore last year quite a lot and I actually don't like light gray coats as much as this color gray like a dark gray I find this one is just much more flattering for my olive skin tone this kind of color it doesn't wash me out as much as a light gray does but that doesn't really stop me from wearing light gray it just makes me prefer this kind of color and I really like that this one's quite different to my camel one with the more structured collar rather than the hood collar with the uh, trim around it and it has pockets. I don't think I'd wear it with these boots though But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. This is what it looks like without boots This one is a size 34 and the camel one I have is a size 36 I don't feel like the camel one drowns me at all and I really liked the length on this one <laughs> Look at you licking me because I feel like when I wear jumper dresses and things it will come up at the right length as my actual dresses and I can still, there's still room in the sleeves, like I can still put jumpers and stuff and fit jumpers or whatever underneath it as well. It was honestly such, such a good find. It was down from 1,400 to 800 pounds and it's like one of those lifetime coats that I know I will wear forever and the quality is just amazing. So yeah, I'm very happy with my purchase of the day. I feel like it's kind of hit and miss with seasonal pieces at Bista Village. Either I feel like you'll go and you'll see loads of like amazing pieces that were from last season, like that Maj coat I showed you, or like the Valentino sandals as well, or in other shops you'll see more like classic pieces. So it kind of just depends, I guess, what um, time of year you go, but I didn't actually see any bags that caught my eye. While my lunch is heating up, I want to tell you about this week's giveaway, which is so exciting. It is a Kiehl's Christmas Advent Calendar. I'm going to just open it up and show you inside. Kiehl's is one of my, oh no, it's sealed. Okay, I don't want to open up and show you what's inside, but I'll show you a picture now of what it looks like inside and the products. It basically has 24 really good size products of like some of the best selling things and I love beauty advent counters so much so I'm super excited to be giving this away. To enter go over to my Instagram make sure you're following me at Amelia Liana and like and comment on my latest post using the hashtag Amelia Liana vlog. My giveaways are open internationally and I will pick a winner next week. Oh there's my lunch. Mm, oh, I freaking love the leftovers. It requires no effort whatsoever so let's eat. This is what my bed currently looks like. <laughs> I have like my five minute journal. This is my diary that I do my morning pages in. This is my five year diary <laughs> and I do everything in the evening in. And this is my artist way notebook and my scrapbook. So, uh, and that's Duke's bum. <laughs> Good evening. It is a little bit later now. And uh, it's time to go to bed, basically. You know when you get on your computer and then the next time you look up, it's like four hours later. And you're like, it wasn't four hours, it was like three and a half or like two. I basically just said like ten different <laughs> numbers that aren't even related. It was a very long time <laughs> that I've been on my computer. So I need to take off my makeup and go to bed. I'm actually testing a new cleanser, which is this one, the Elemis rehydrating rose petal cleanser. I'm big into rose things. Can you tell what are your thoughts on rose related items? Because I love anything rose. My candle that I'm burning right now is also a rose candle as well. I just pumped way too much of that. Guys, I need to get into bed A sap. We had to rush home because my mum was going to Paris this evening and she messaged me on the train being like, that was such a fun day. Don't forget to enter the Kiehl's giveaway if you haven't already for the advent calendar and I will see you on Monday with another video. Mwah. Just realized I'm like waving night to you with my disgusting old flannel. Sorry.